to the more realistic side of living in a Jeep. It is so windy outside, I can feel the wind shaking the Jeep. And uh, Ty hasn't come inside, he's just been napping all morning. I think he's enjoying the sun, or maybe the nice breeze. And I've just been cooped up in the Jeep all day. So, I was gonna go into town and edit a video, but I can't because um, I don't have a video to edit. I edited it yesterday. And then as far as uh, doing anything else, I mean, it's super windy outside. I can't go off road. I haven't been able to check the Jeep. And then last night, the traffic in the town was so bad that I don't know if it's even, it might be really bad because it's the weekend. It's Saturday, so it's like tourist city day. And I was even having trouble finding a place to camp last night. I drove like all the way around the campsite until I finally found this place off in the middle of the desert. So I don't know. I made a sandwich. And I used Dijon. I used uh, some Dijon mustard on it. And I hate mustard. I only bought this because mustard tastes good on those spicy Italian sausages. And I thought Dijon mustard would be better because I don't like mustard. Well, this tastes like mustard and horseradish. So I don't know. Maybe it'll be good on a sandwich. Otherwise, it might have been a waste of like $2. But I mean, at least I bought the Kroger brand. This stuff gets expensive. If you don't know what this is, some guy at the four wheel drive expo had the sick YJ and me and Sean were looking at it. Turns out he had a booth inside of the expo. These are actually, he designed these things. So ratchet straps, when they're free hanging, you can just ratchet them up, tighten them down with these things. They're really awesome and I actually mentioned them in my video, but unfortunately that video footage was lost. And today it is super windy and stormy outside, so the audio is probably really noisy right now. And I have to go to the bathroom, so I'm packing up camp and heading off. It is about the middle of the day now. I think it's about two or three o'clock by now. And um, I'm at the coffee shop trying to do a little research and stuff. I reached out to a Facebook group for Moab and uh, I think I might've actually found some work. Somebody said that their aunt had somebody who was gonna rake her leaves, but I guess the guy fell through. So he said that if I'm interested, that that's an option. So I reached out and I might I might get that, you know, get to go do that, rake some leaves, make a little bit of extra cash. And if that all works out, that'll be super convenient. Get us some side money and stuff. So far with what I did to the Jeep yesterday, I think I might've actually fixed the problem. I'm not entirely sure, but from what I can see now, it's definitely slowed down. It's not leaking as much as it was before. I'm gonna check it here in the near future and make sure I didn't lose any fluid or anything. But I think that eventually I am going to have to rebuild my transfer case. I put it in four low yesterday and this was right after I topped it off and it was definitely popping. I think I can still use it off road and stuff. I don't think it's anything too major, but it, it definitely, the chain is definitely skipping. So it's something I'm gonna wanna have to fix one day. I was just gonna film a regular day today, but it's very, very windy. Like windy to the point that I was sitting in the Jeep and you could literally feel the Jeep shake from the wind. Um, on top of that, it's kind of on and off storm, so it's a little rainy, and where me and Kai were camping, it was just desert dust and everything. It was blowing dust everywhere. Even here, while we were sitting at the coffee shop, like, the wind was so bad, it was blowing dust and leaves everywhere. Like, I got leaves all over me a minute ago. As, and since I don't have a good audio system on the GoPro, it's, it's not gonna come out good if I vlog today. On top of that, I was just really tired this morning. I actually ended up just kind of laying in the Jeep and watching videos online for the majority of the morning before I decided to come down here. So I was thinking I'm just gonna talk about like how I've been using the GoPro and stuff. And a lot of you have actually already stated that the GoPro videos really don't seem that bad. The quality is still really good and I definitely get some cool angles and stuff. 
I've even suggested for some people who have started YouTube channels to get this camera. So if you are interested in which camera I've been using for the GoPro series, it's the GoPro Hero 7. Now the settings I have on here are a little bit different. I have ProTune on for sure. If you don't know what that is, it allows you to adjust all the settings to set a lot of your stuff to manual. It's automatically set to shoot everything automatic and when you do that, the video quality is just not gonna end up looking that great. It's always gonna be changing and things are just gonna end up looking weird. Now, I am actually shooting at 30 frames per second, even though 24 frames per second is more cinematic. For the GoPro, I am shooting at 30 frames per second. I have been this whole time, and as long as you generate it in 30 frames per second, it does not look super weird. Now, if you shoot it in 30 frames per second and then you generate it at 24 frames per second, it's gonna look really, really weird. The reason I'm shooting it in 30 frames per second is mostly because the sensor on here is really small, which means if I shoot it at 24 frames per second and I actually want to get the true cinematic look, I'm going to have to change my shutter speed. If I do that, it's gonna be super bright. And so the only way for me to kind of make this work is to shoot at 30 frames per second and then just set the shutter speed to be automatic. So now this way it's going to adjust according to the light. It's kind of confusing stuff, but basically long story short, short um, shoot 30 frames per second and then I set the shutter speed to auto. On top of that, my Kelvin is set to 5,500 and that'll just make it warmer or colder. And so I have mine set to 5,500. That's what I use for most of my cameras. And I, to me, I think it looks best just for this picture. If you set it to automatic, it'll adjust. The only time I find myself actually changing it to make it colder is usually when I'm inside of a building because the light in there is usually yellow anyway. But outside, I usually set it to 5,500. The audio settings, I have those adjusted. I think I have it set to stereo and I notice if I don't do that, the audio comes out kind of weird. So I have it set to stereo. And as far as equipment I use, I am not using any equipment. I have one of my biggest pet peeves was this weird scratchy noise that the GoPro has. And I found out that only happens when I have it in its case and I am using it on a tripod of some kind. It always has just a weird noise. So as far as these shots I'm using right now, I, I'm just, I'm not, I'm actually holding it by my hand. I wish I could set up like a mirror for you. It's not in a case or anything. I have it completely in hand, holding it, nothing else. And the whole time I've been doing this series, this hasn't been in a case, no gear, nothing. I don't have anything against gear. In fact, I really want the like clampy gimbal tripod looking thing. But um, the, I just wanted to tell you guys for this, I end up usually just placing it in creative places and this way I'm able to pick it up and I don't have to adjust anything. It makes it really easy to just toss it around and do whatever I want with this. It's a waterproof camera, it's super sturdy so I'm able to do really cool creative things with it. The reason why I suggest people get a GoPro, I think everybody needs a GoPro, is because you can do some really cool, really creative stuff with it that you would not be able to do with... We're gonna go back outside in a second Kai. You can do really cool, really creative stuff with it that you're not able to do with any other camera, such as the shots where I just toss it in the water or put it in a bin or just put it in little tight creative places. And I think using that creative aspect is really gonna help me once I get my other camera back. I wanna still be able to use the GoPro a lot as soon as I get my other camera back. I think I can do some really cool things with it. But until then, I think using this GoPro is gonna be a really big learning experience for me just to learn how to get creative with using very limited materials. You're, you're really a pain in the butt, Kai. You need to stop crying all the stinking time. I have work to do, like all the stinking time. Before I end this video, huge shout out to, I think it's Dooley, Dooley 2K. I, th I hope I'm saying that right. Dooley 2K, thank you so much. He just became one of my Patreon supporters and that is really big for me. Up to this point, I've only had three Patreon supporters, Bruce Jividen, Jake Wetterin, and Chris Rickard. Now I have one more guy who has pledged to support me. These are the people who really help encourage me and really help me get back on the road and continue this journey. I hope that in the future, I'm gonna be able to continue this adventure, create amazing content for you guys. And to my new Patreon pledges, I do post exclusive content on there where I'm just gonna post random stuff as well as doing this. I shout you guys out. It really means a lot to me that you guys support me and I do try to make the best of it by talking to you, just getting to know you and just getting to know the people who are willing to support me. It really means a lot to me. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Can't wait to talk to you here in a minute and that's gonna be it for today. Oh, also day three of the GoPro series. 
It's day three of using this little tiny camera as my main camera. I, I need another battery for this thing. But I'm not gonna buy one, it would just be nice to have one. 